A Look at Finance is underwritten by Janney Montgomery Scott, trusted advisors for generations. Well, welcome back, everyone. It's Thursday. Yes, it is. That means it's a look at finance <laughs> with my good friend here, Steve Carlton from Jenny Montgomery Scott. Thanks, you. Hey, Thank you, you know, before we start, we're going into the final leg of selecting the winner for the Jenny High Five. Yes, we are. I just want you to know, so that's any day now. Uh, isn't that exciting? I yeah, can't I believe, uh, well, uh, great response. So many people in the community getting involved. It's going to be uh, a lot oh, of fun. Oh, and the students this year are just phenomenal. I'm telling you, they really yeah. are. Yeah, they are. It's... Uh, it's a lot of fun. I look forward to going to school. Yeah, yeah good. Hey, uh, we usually talk about things that affect your uh, pocketbook, but mm. as you well know from mm -hmm. uh, the events that are going on in Saratoga and Glens Falls, we've got some projects here that are really going to have a financial impact yeah. on both of these cities. Absolutely. Let's start with Saratoga and the Rip Van Dam Hotel. What a great story. This is right. really exciting. This is one we've been watching now for, gosh, it's all over a year. It is. Um, historic Broadway. There are two hotels that sit side by side. They're Rip Van Dam and the Adelphi Hotel. They're wonderful, beautiful locations, and they've got great stories. So we just heard this week that they are now able to begin the construction process and do the restoration right. for this. And this is huge news for the city. It's going to be a huge draw for people coming to the city and wanting to vacation right downtown. Mm -hmm. So it's big, big news. Well, you know, we interviewed the uh, developer today. He was in our news. Mm -hmm. And it... Uh, the impact on the tax base, the impact on employment, mm. it, it just, it's pretty phenomenal. And then you put these, the Rip Van Dam, of course, is right next to the Adelphi. Yeah. And yeah. between those two hotels, what that brings to the city is, is phenomenal, including mm. the first, I think I've got this right, yeah. the first valet parking hotel. Isn't that fantastic? Yeah, I, I mean, love these, it. these are going to be <laughs> premier, beautiful hotels. But seeing the plans, the designs mm -hmm. in this. And, you know, the talk about the boom for the downtown stores. Mm -hmm. uh, you talk about the restaurants, mm -hmm. bringing that many people downtown. There was a lot of nervousness at first because if you open these beautiful hotels up, you know, Broadway's already kind of tight for parking and everything else. And uh, Rip Van Dam came up with this great solution, this parking garage, which is going to bring more parking to the area. That's right. So this is, this is going to be good news for the city, and it's not that far away. You know, and to our neighbors up in Glens Falls, we've also got some news yeah. that uh, one of the sort of cornerstone building. well, Glens Falls has been involved for a while now to try to clean up South Street. Mm -hmm. And for those of you that don't know South Street, it's right in the heart of Glens Falls. And probably just the last block that they really need to clean up to make that city mm -hmm. as beautiful as what they've done to Glen Street and Red Street. Um, so they purchased the Hotshot um, bar, Very popular which is bar. right on the corner yeah. of South and Elm. Yeah. And with that, uh, Ed Bartholomew, who runs the EDC up there, mm -hmm. states that, that now they're really going to go full bore and make certain that they clean up the rest of South Street. Yeah. Close to Falls National Bank built uh, an administrative building yeah. on South Street, so it's really looking good up there, too. That's another city that we've been watching, you know, for the last couple of years, really put a lot of thought, a lot of planning into development and everything mm -hmm. else, and, uh, you know, I think we're just in the initial stages of seeing that city continue to expand and grow, and that's, that's a really great spot to do some development in. You know, jumping back to Saratoga, mm. not exactly on Broadway, but mm. Ellsworth Ice Cream. There's something going on there, too, right? Not that far. Division Street. So, right. you know, it's, it's right over by Railroad and Division. You go down that street, Ellsworth Ice Cream, and uh, they have finally approved that development process. And so mm -hmm. they're going to put some townhomes in there, some apartments, and commercial space. And that's a great location over by the uh, Allardyce Hardware Store. Mm -hmm. And so it's a great spot. People that want to live right close to downtown, this is going to be a really wonderful development. That, that, you know, the drawings, the things that they've shown really looks top shelf. So I guess spring is sprung, you think, or what? Yeah, it's yeah, unbelievable, <laughs> right? The city's just come alive. I, I mean, the snow's uh, melting finally. Saratoga got an award. Fifth mm. healthiest city in the... Third healthiest Third. in the state. It is, you know, again, you talk about the deliberate conscious planning, mm -hmm. you know, the, the spas, the, the healthy lifestyle, you know, being everything within walking distance. This city has really, you know, put itself on the map in the last 10 years. And, uh, you know, Joanne Yepsen was talking about it earlier this week, and there's, I think there's a tremendous amount of pride for mm -hmm. you know, how thoughtful we've grown and, you know, how many things we've done in the last, you know, 10 years. It's incredible. Well, you know better than anybody because you're in finance. I mean, that just, this kind of growth mm -hmm. contributes to so many facets of financial health yeah. for a community. So when you're talking about Saratoga and Glens Falls, mm -hmm. take, undertaking these major urban projects right yeah. in the heart of where the finance really uh, the hub of it, right? Yeah, yeah it's you think about the, the local business owners. You look at the local banks that have gotten behind mm -hmm. these projects. 
These are local small businesses that are all involved in this. This isn't big mm -hmm. outside national corporations that are coming in developing the town. This is a community project. And so there's a tremendous sense of pride when you think about some of the you know, construction companies in the community that have really you know, done a lot of work here. So, yeah, I think there's, this is going to be a lot of fun this summer. Well, this is good news today. So you're going to, now this gives you more streets to drive your new car down? Oh, can, can I do a plug about this? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Go ahead. Yeah, Here I, comes a, a, an unbiased yeah, plug. Oh, my goodness. So uh, Jesse has this great piece on Porsche in Clifton Park. And I saw it in the news. Oh, and I said, drive it home. You drive it yeah, home. Right. And, I, and I said, you know, I've got to go down and see these guys. So Christian, the manager down there, I have to give a shout out to him. Uh, just got a new Porsche through the dealership. And they did a wonderful job. The service was great. Uh, just really, really happy about it. And yeah, you're right. Now that spring's in the air, it's going to be a lot of fun to get out there and drive. Okay, note to you young people <laughs> out there, come into television, you drive a Volkswagen, go into the world of finance, <laughs> and you drive a Porsche. <laughs> so we'll see you next week. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> next week, hopefully Give a me little a ride. warmer. That's a all I want. Give me a ride. I think okay. you'll be negotiated. Yeah, okay, absolutely. That's absolutely. fine. <laughs> all right, to see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com.